Well, hello again, once again. We're still on our way back from Chahab. And although we don't do many temple stops or anything like that, we are with a group. And this is, this is um, what the name of the temple here, darling? Panakor Kili, like a Thailand to say Khao Wang. Khao Wang. Yeah, like a king number five stay here for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Right? So um, there's a cable car that takes us up to the top. Which I, I've, I've always thought, last time I was here, I did it about six or seven years ago. Uh, all the photo, we did a photo shoot here, um, and it's on my Flickr album, uh, if you want to want, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take a round, wander around here and just check it out. So to get up to the temple, we need to, we need, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we need to go up uh, this cable car, which is quite interesting. So there, so there we have the name in English, Hara Nakon Kiri Palace. Here we have the cable car that goes all the way up to the top. And of course, the views from the top of the hill here are quite amazing. It's definitely worth a trip out here if you're coming down this way. Um, there you go, there's the other cable car on the way down. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a fair few steps you're going to walk it. Why are you so scared, darling? It's not too high, it's okay. It's safety, it's okay. One thing you've got to watch out for when you go to this temple or the, the palace, um, lots of lots of monkeys. You've got to keep your keep your possessions pretty well closed and, and be careful of because they are they're a, they're a bunch of pickpockets um, and they're very fast. You'll never catch them. There we go. Sign says beware of the monkeys. Oh, here's one here. Yes, just a few steps. We might have a decable car to come up the main distance, but there's lots and lots of steps. And there is a dress code. Uh, make sure that you take your shoes off um, and uh, you're appropriately dressed. Otherwise, you'll have to change clothes as well. On the, yeah, on the other side, yeah. yeah. And last, there's no photos allowed inside the actual uh, palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you actually want to see the uh, the furnishings and things like that in the in the, the palace room, you have to pay your admission, come and see them yourselves, or buy a guidebook. I think they call this thing here the observatory. And you can see why. It's pretty much the highest point on the mountain, and you can see everywhere. Just reading the um, plaque and the wall, uh, this is sort of like a, um, a residential pavilion. Uh, the king would sit here, this is King Rama IV, uh, they would view the pantomime uh, for them in front here, and that's sort of the king's box, you might sort of say. Uh, yeah.
Oh, and of course, the market, souvenir style shops, can't go past those, I think every major attraction has them. So I don't know whether it was uh, just a coincidence last time of year, but one thing that does come to mind about this place is it's, it's actually quite a nice breeze always blowing through this place. Um, gives things a bit of relative cool in the hot days. Maybe it's just the two times I've been here, it's been breezy, but uh, it's quite refreshing. And this is now day three without coffee. Ah. Changes in life, oh my god. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now, like you love a cup You want to go eat food? Something for food and to go home. Sure. Yeah, okay. keep seeing him diving today, you're not Why? diving. No, he just... But you don't know where, somewhere for food. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. I can drive now. Yeah. Well, again, I guess we'll wrap this one up here and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now. Charlie, you want to say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. Have to enjoy. Bye bye. See you next video. Next bye -bye. video, bye bye.